Good evening and welcome to Rick's Custom Squirrels located at my home base here in Mitchell, Illinois. Uh, tonight we've brought a lot of the work inside. The shop's a little bit too cold out there. It's 18 degrees out tonight and a little difficult to get the shop warmed up. So we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, video footage here at the house. Uh, right now I'm in the process of getting ready to work on a couple of chest mounts. Uh, I've got some uh, custom orders I'm working on right now. One for a gentleman up in New York. Uh, I've got a couple of chest mounts I'm working on for a, a customer in the United Kingdom. These two right here. And I've also got a couple of uh, custom fox squirrels I just finished up for a, a customer in Australia was wanting a climbing up and climbing down fox squirrel that I just finished setting up and uh, these will be going out next week. I'll kind of give you an overview what I'm working on here and then we'll kind of zoom in on what I'm going to be working on here for the next couple of minutes. There's a couple of uh, squirrel mounts I'm working on for a customer in New York City. He's an uh, established lawyer. He's got a football theme that I've been working on for the last couple of years. Uh, generally we make him a couple of mounts each year. And this is going to be a father and son uh, group mount. Kind of uh, dad and son going to a local football game. And still got to put some accessories on these guys. You got them finished up for uh, the customer which will be going out next week. A couple of chest mounts I'm working on for a customer in uh, United Kingdom, which will be shipping out next week. And then I got a couple of fox squirrels here. Pretty nice looking winter fox squirrels that'll be going out uh, late next week once they're finished setting up and drying. We'll get those uh, shipped out next week. Uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on a couple of uh, chest mounts I'm working on right now. Uh, these are custom orders uh, for some customers that this recently uh, contacted me a few weeks ago and we'll zoom in on these guys as I'm preparing to set the eyes and get the skins mounted on these and we'll go from there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, prep these forms real quick and we'll go ahead and uh, zoom in on these guys that way you get a good idea of uh, what's being worked down here using my uh, Dremel tool we'll go ahead and cascade these eyes out done by eye. I don't uh, tool a lot of my mounts. A lot of my eyes are centered based on previous experience after mounting about close to 2,000 squirrel mounts over the years. Pretty much uh, get a knack for uh, how things need to be centered and how things need to be finished to get a really good custom mount. All my forms that I use, my squirrel forms are all custom made. They cannot be bought locally from a taxidermy supply warehouse. They don't carry these type of uh, custom forms. I have a friend of mine in Alabama who custom makes all of my squirrel forms for me. And he does a great job on all the forms that he does ship to me. We'll go ahead and get these eyes set up. We're going to go with a dark pair of uh, mammal eyes here. 
there's a large variety of colors you can use. Sometimes I'll mix them up and match them. Sometimes I'll use albino eyes just to get a unique type of mount. Basically my main idea on doing a squirrel mount is to get them to represent how I want them to look. I don't not really interested in what a traditional taxidermist sees. I primarily mount my mounts to look and come out the way that I want them to look. Especially on my custom mounts. If the customer wants a uh, specific facial a, a specific facial feature on a mount, then I'll create that when I use a clay deposit composite on it. Uh, right now I got several skins available, stitched up, ready to go. Squirrels were harvested early this fall and during the winter time this past winter. A lot of these are taken with shotgun with 22. So depending on how they were harvested, depends on how much sewing is involved in creating a good quality skin. These have all been repaired, uh, sewed, and tanned and ready to be mounted. This is probably one of my most uh, common mounts that I do. A lot of my custom chest mounts. I ship these all around the world, anywhere from Antarctica to Iceland. Got a little skin tag here. We're going to remove. That way we get a nice subtle eye setting on here. And I'll go ahead and tuck these in once they're set up. I always use a little, little bit of clay to deposit into the paw since they are skinned out to the toes and this helps to create a good quality paw when they're uh, dried out. Always add a little water, kind of smooth out the clay as I'm entering it into the paw, which gives me a little bit of uh, room to maneuver the skin. I always prep my forms with a little bit of petroleum jelly. This helps to alleviate the skin getting hung up or torn in any way. And it helps preserve the skin as well as it's drying. It does not affect the quality of the uh, teething process at all. A lot of folks like to use mineral oil. You can use either. Mineral oil is a little bit more uh, runny than the petroleum jelly which is what I prefer to use. This is considered a half mount or a chest mount, shoulder chest mount. Some folks might call it a, a shoulder mount. Right now I'm working on several custom mounts for some traveling trophies here in the United States. A couple of groups of uh, squirrel, squirrel hunters in the Northeast are wanting a traveling uh, mount which they can uh, hand off from one group to the next as they uh, enter in the uh, into their uh, traveling uh, squirrel uh, trophy. Uh, I don't know how they're act actually determining whether someone has actually won or not, but 
it's going to be on a nice wooden plaque just like the ones off here and basically it's going to be considered a traveling chest mount and it'll have some accessories on them I'm not sure exactly what we're going to go with on this guy yet but that's one of my finished products which is considered a shoulder mount or chest mount and we'll let him set up and dry and uh, he'll be ready to go one down and many to go